Welcome back to Surviving in Alabama on my brand new iPhone 15 Pro. This is the newest, latest, greatest phone camera that I've ever had. So <clears throat> I did an upgrade. And uh, before in the past, I have filmed everything on an iPhone SE and an iPhone 11, period. That's all I've ever used. Today, we're using the brand new camera phone. All right. My pigs are so spoiled. I'm telling you that, I mean, why can't I have a normal animal? So <clears throat> my pigs, I never even dreamed, cause I used to raise pigs and sell them. And I did that for about five years, years ago. And so why the, so then now I've got some new pigs. I stayed out of pigs for like uh, maybe four or five years. <clears throat> but these pigs I got now, I don't, I mean, I just, they're picky. And so if I don't doctor up the food, they don't want it. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm just going <laughs> to take you along. Today, we're going to be planting the rest of the garden. I've already planted corn and um, <clears throat> it might've even sprouted by now. I don't know. I'm going to check on it here in a few minutes, but today we're going to be planting peas and squash. I'm going to be picking the onions and I'm probably going to be picking potatoes. Uh, I'm just going to get them out of there. And I'm going to be getting the beds ready for tomatoes. And we're going to be doing all the things. It is time to plant. We have got to get this done. And today is April the 22nd. I think today's, no, I think today's, it's Monday. <clears throat> Whatever it is. 21st, 22nd. So uh, I'm, li I'm literally a little bit late. But we've had some cool weather. Uh, if you see, I'm, I'm wearing a hoodie jacket now because it's cool out here. And the wind is blowing and it's a little cool this morning. So anyway, um, we have got to get that done. I'm going to take you along and we're gonna, I'm going to show you everything I'm doing. And I'm fixing to feed these pigs. So I've, got, I've got their food. And what I'm, what I'm going to do is I've got some, some uh, gravy. Uh, I say gravy. The juice out of a roast that we made. And I'm going to be pouring that on top of the food. And if I don't do, I mean, they'll eat it, but I just spoiled them by feeding them scraps because I feed them scraps all the time and they're still young and they don't know any better. Uh, I just don't understand how, how I can even, wind, how can I even wind up with a picky pig? I mean, that's almost unbelievable. See, I'm gonna doctor it up here. And they like it. Got doctored up some kind of how. <clears throat> putting that gravy on it, they really like it. And being that they're little, they, they like to get up in the, <laughs> it's, that plastic slick. <laughs> totally okay for a pig. Well, I gotta get the eggs out from under if I'm gonna collect eggs today. It's never a dull moment around here. There's always something going on. <laughs> so what I'm doing is uh, I've got these two two fours here. I'm just laid them out on some saw horses and I've got these, these grates right here. This actually came out of an old freezer. I want those commercial freezers and I just held on to them cause I was like one day I'm gonna use them for something. Well today I'm gonna use them and we're gonna be curing onions on these grates. Now, I just screwed down, uh, the, put two screws on that end and two screws on that end. It don't have to be great, but what I don't need it to do is pull apart and drop the onions on the ground. That's what I don't want to do. So, this is what it looks like, and I hope that all the onions fit on here. Maybe, maybe not, but that's all the grates I have, and I'm gonna try to make that work.
Let's go pick them. Okay, here they are. As you can see, they're ready. Uh, I'm, some of them are big. Some of them are just average. But this is what I got. So we got to get them out of here before, before they uh, go bad. Not good. Now what I'm doing is I'm picking them and leaving the green on there. Because that's what I'm... See? See how... I mean, they're not giants right there, but some of them are big. But... See? I'm knocking the dirt off and I'm just making a basket of them right here. I picked, the fir I picked the first bed right there and I got a whole basket full. So hopefully I can pick, do this in four sections. Just so I got four sections of onions and then we'll go lay them out and I'll show you. Okay, so the object is, is to do this. I'm gonna take the onion and I'm gonna slide them. So I'm gonna take the onion right here and I'm gonna set them in all these racks and I'm gonna leave the, the, the bottom of it, I'm turning it upside down and let the green hang. Now, what this is gonna do, as long as air flows around it, the uh, skin is soft right now because I just pulled it up. So if you know when you go to the store, you go and the, and the onion peel is kind of brittle and hard on the outside. Well, that's what I wanna do. I want this outer layer to get hard and that way it protects the onion. And so I'm gonna start laying these in the racks and then I'll come back to you. I'm dropping them. Some of these are kind of small, but that's okay. We'll still leave them anyway. Some of them are big, some of them are small. It all just depends. I'm gonna lay them in there just like just like so, all the way down. Now these little ones, the little ones like this, I'm gonna try to put these back and see if I can't get them to grow a little bit bigger. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, I got a few little ones that I got a. Uh, uh, put back, but this is what I got. Uh, there's a few little ones in, and I didn't pick them all. Um, they're not giants, but there's some, there's some decent onions in here. I mean, you can see right here, there, there's some, there's a few small ones, but <clears throat> by and large, they're average size. They're okay. So that's, that's what we got. I don't really know how many it is. And I still got more to pick, but I'm gonna let them go a little longer. Now that uh, I got these onions, uh, now, like I said, I didn't pick them all. I picked most of them, like maybe 90%. I, I still left some. So, and I still got to go water those. But now that I've got all these onions drying, now it's time to do some more chores. Um, I've already fed everybody for today. Y'all saw that. Um, now I'm going to go move the pigs. And then I'm gonna get ready to get this other garden uh, back up in there. I've got corn planted in a 30 by 30 plot, and then I got another 30 by 30 plot. I'm gonna plant some peas in. And then I'm gonna put tomatoes around the outside, and I'm gonna put squash around the other outside. So um, probably gonna plant some more onions and cucumbers, uh, definitely pickling cucumbers. Definitely gonna get them. I gotta put the trellis up, so lots of things to do. Stay with me, we're working. See, I just put them on fresh ground. And this is where they were. This is where they've been. And so what I'm doing is, is I'm just pushing them down and let them eat up all this green stuff. Of course, not a lot of green here, but a little bit. They're gonna be tilling it up and I'm gonna be planting behind them for the deer. That's the plan anyway.
Okay, so I went and got in my seed box and I picked out a few seeds. Uh, if you are a gardener or a, you're a prepper or a homesteader or a farm, anything like that, uh, you probably have lots of seeds. So I just picked out some. <clears throat> so lots of seeds last a long time. I keep them in a cool, dry place. Um, I don't really know how long they will last, but probably a long time because of the how I store them. So, uh, these seeds are maybe, some of them are last year's seeds and some of them may be two or three years old. Um, totally fine. Usually what that means is, is if it's really an old bunch of seeds, your germ germination rate won't be great. But hey, you, some of them are still going to pop and grow. That's the way God made everything. Uh, so let's look through what I did bring out here and let's, let's pick out some seeds. I picked these up, I think at Walmart, like four years ago. And I never did, I don't know if these things, these bulbs, they may be just too gone, I don't know. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant them down there at my mailbox. These are uh, gladiolas. Who knows, if they come up, great. If they don't, I'm, it's okay. All right, so I got these two. Greg Hoss, uh, uh, sorry. Greg from Hoss Tools actually gave these to me last year. So I've got a couple of packs of them. Gonna be putting those out. Uh, gonna put out a few lima beans. Not gonna plant all this. A uh, few lima beans here, or butter beans, however you say it. Got uh, these small seeds in here. These are pickling cucumbers and then rattlesnake beans. And there's pink eye purple hole peas. Uh, we're probably not gonna put all these down, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna put a 30 by 30 spot of nothing but this. Now here at my household, we really like peas. So what I'm gonna do is um, this part right here, I'm actually saving that for squash. And from here on out here, that's gonna be all peas from, from this point all the way up to there, up to the where the green, this whole, this whole area right here. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna work my way up. And I'm probably gonna have to come spread this out a little bit better because it's kind of mounded up. But and, and the mounded for for squash is totally fine. So that's okay too. Probably not gonna plant more than that. All right, here we go. Don't, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know if I can hold the camera and do this at the same time, but we'll see. Let's see if I can fix this. Lots of rocks here. I pick rocks out of this garden all the time. Okay, that's what's left right there. I knew it wasn't gonna take it all. Uh, but, so this is basically what I have. This is my, my spot. Uh, I got nine rows, see? Count them across there where I, where I ran it. Now I did this flat, but over here where I did the corn, so see the, the raised part of the row? That's where all the corn seed is. And I did that on purpose because when the corn comes up, I can run the tiller down through the middle and it throws dirt up on the roots of the corn. So when the brace roots come out, 
I can cover that up when the, with the tiller and, and weed it all at the same time. Now I'm gonna put the chapin planter back up until uh, get ready to plant again this fall. But just like to say, if y'all ever want, like if you have a big enough garden where you, you know, you're gonna be planting several seeds, this is invaluable. I literally paid $100 for it like four years ago, and I wish that I had had it long before that. I actually learned about, I mean, I knew about push planters for a long time. Earthway is like a big name in push planters, but I learned about this Chapin one from a guy on YouTube that uh, has a big farm in Africa. And you know how in America, you have these big gargantuan $300,000 tractors and they've got 26 cedars behind it or 26 planters behind it and one implement. This guy in Africa, he had it going on. So he had, I think he had about maybe 10 of them or something like that. And they were planting huge fields. I mean, he, I mean, Feels kind of like what we have in America. Maybe not quite that big, but they were they were giants. And what this guy was doing was they went through and they did plow it up with a tractor. And he had guys with those push planters and they were just going along. And they had like 10 guys and they were going up and down the rows and they were planting these giant fields with just that. So he didn't have a lot of money in it. And it doesn't require fuel. It doesn't require anything. So kudos to him. He was really getting by on a little bit. So I learned it from just watching him. I was like, that's the way to go. You don't need, you don't need, of course, I'm not going to be planting huge fields, but they sure made it happen. Well, taking a break here in the shop. I'm drinking half sweet tea. Uh, I did put some stevia in it. Uh, so I don't have as much sugar. See y'all next time. God bless.